Hello again, Jared Borman here. Just wanted to send a quick video because as part of your coursework in week one or possibly week two, I can't remember where it was exactly, you're going to be asked to sort of keep a journal. And we, I didn't want to assume that everybody knew how to start a journal and share it with me so that way I could provide you with comments. So I do believe that all three of your schools that you guys are at, West Central, Howard Wynn, and West Delaware, are Google Domain schools. So you can use Google Docs, which are probably the easiest way to do it. And if you're wondering how to set this up, if you've never, I don't want to assume everybody's used Google Docs before, so I want to start from the very beginning if possible. To start up a Google Doc, first of all, I've gone to Google.com. And as you can see up here in the right-hand corner, I am not signed in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign in. And when I do, you will notice that I have several accounts. You can add your account if it's not already one of the ones that are showing up here. So I'm just going to click on my current account. My password should fill in automatically, so I can go ahead and sign in. And when I sign in, you could do this a number of different ways. So I'm still on the Google, the Google.com search here. However, if I go to the squares, and I know I'm signed in because I see my face right there. If I click on the squares, then you'll be able to click on your Google Drive. And when you click on your Google Drive, you will be able to start a journal document. And you can either just start the document and share it with me, or if you wanted to create a folder to house all of your uh, blended flip cohort assignments or projects that you might be collecting here, especially the big assignment at the end, uh, that's your call. If you want to share the whole folder with me, that's certainly your decision, or you can share individual documents with me. So I'll let you decide that. But if you wanted to, you could create a new folder, label it Blend Flip, and then you'll walk through the same steps that I'm walking through in order to share it. Or, well, I'll just show you that quickly right now. If I want to start a new folder, entitle it Blend Flip, hit Create. I will then see that folder start right there, and then all I'd have to do is click on the share button and fill in my email address so that way you have it shared with me. And you don't necessarily have to give me editing privileges. I'll type in my email address so you can see it pop up, but at least give me, oh, in this case, I would have to be able to edit it so I can leave you comments between the two. But if you just wanted to start a document, which I'll show that as well. So instead of a folder, I'm going to hit a Google Doc here. And as the Google Doc, a new document begins to load, titling this for my journal purposes is going to be kind of important. So when we utilize a title, um, it's probably going to be wise to include your first name or last name. Since there are only three of you within the cohort, it's not going to be that difficult to distinguish between whoever, whomever it may be. But in this case, I'm just going to title it Borman, and I'll just label it Journal. And Enter. And then there's the title of my new document. Now I can continue to use this journal throughout the entire process of the cohort. I don't necessarily have to start a new journal every single time I'm asked to journal through the online coursework. But if I'm going to be sharing this with my professor, if you're going to be sharing it with me, then you click on share in the upper right hand corner here and you'll see the same kind of dialog box but there'll be one tiny little difference so I'm gonna then you're gonna be sharing this document with me so I'm gonna type in my email once again and then now you'll notice I have a third option for my drop down if you want to give me editing privileges you certainly can I am not going to be making specific changes inside the document but what I'm typically going to be interested in is leaving you comments so this will be the same for your journal. It'll be the same for your unit planning, which is the big thing at the end. And when you start that process here coming up, um, I'm going to be leaving you as many comments as I can as, as we progress through. So please choose either can edit or can comment, but please do not can view because then I can't do anything with the document. I can only see it. I can't provide you any feedback. And I want to be able to provide that timely feedback. So please allow me to at least comment and then hit send. And then I'll receive an email with that document. If you want to put a little note or a message in there as well, be my guest. Um, but at least that way I can access the document. I can leave you comments and feedback as we progress through the cohort. So I hope this video helps.